fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I am here today to do an unboxing for you. I am so excited that I have almost finished my first uh, Big Ten canvas, which is my Treasure Studios art canvas. If you haven't seen the unboxing of that, I'll stick a link up there. Uh, I am just hopefully a day away from finishing it. And so because I'm going to finish it before the month is out, I thought I would take the opportunity to open another canvas and get started on another project. Uh, I am not going to count this one towards my big 10, but it is a, a bigger canvas and it is a diamond art club, as you can see. And it is one that I have just had sitting around in my stash. And since I am all about decreasing my stash as well in 2022, I thought this would be a good excuse for me to get another canvas done. So I mentioned in one of my whip and chats that I might be doing this. This is an Alice canvas for the Alice in a Winter Wonderland event. It runs from January 1st till February 14th. So I thought, well, since I'm only about halfway through January, this gives me almost a whole month to work on this. Uh, and since it is around, I might be able to get it done pretty quickly. So as you can see, I hope this is Alice in the Sea of Tears by Simona Candini. It is around, as I said, it is 56 by 74. And I don't know if it has any ABs in it or not. I never remember because I don't pay that much attention when I do it. Uh, you can see here, I put my little label on here with Alice because this is my only Alice canvas. Uh, weirdly, I'm not a big Alice fan. Um, I am a big book fan. So uh, I liked the, the book. I don't... I'm just not a big Alice fan. A lot of the stuff that comes out is kind of weirdly gothy, which is not necessarily my thing. So, and I've seen several Alice canvases, but this was the first one that I kind of went, hmm, okay. So, of course, I got it. Uh, okay, so let's open it up and see what's in the box. No, you guys, I ripped the box. I hate doing that. And my nails are shot recently. So I'm trying to do this without, well, without ripping the box. Although I guess I don't know why I care. It's not like I'm saving it for anything. Okay. So let me get the canvas out here. Ooh, it's kind of a big one. Okay, I think I got everything out of the box. Here is our little sticker. So hopefully you can see, hopefully that's in focus. Alice in the Sea of Tears. Uh, this is the sticker that I will put in my logbook for when I'm finished working on it. Let's see, what do we get in the toolkit? So now this is one that I bought before they did their new toolkits. So you get, Ooh. a boat you get two of their plates of heart wax you get a diamond painting pen with a four placer multi-placer and a bunch of extra baggies which I never use so I send them out in my random acts of kindness so which, speaking of random acts of kindness, if you haven't checked that out, check that out below. There is always a link to my random acts of kindness. Just fill out the Google form. Uh, it will put the information in my spreadsheet, and then I can send you a random act of kindness, which will be something diamond painting related. Don't forget to leave your whole uh, complete address, including zip code if you're in the States, if you're in another country. Make sure you put down everything so that mail can get to you from the U.S. Uh, otherwise, I don't know. I can't keep track of all how, how all the different countries do postage. So um, do addressing. So there's that. Um, so, yeah. Okay. 
So let's get in the bag here and see what I've got. Okay. So a little extra piece of something there. A little schmutz. Let me, man, there's a little little pieces of stuff everywhere on this one. Let me just clean that off a little bit. It's like little extra pieces of canvas while they were surging the edges or something got stuck to it. Hopefully that's not all the way through, although it looks like it is. That's a little annoying. Okay, let me just kind of, so I don't know if you can see that. It's got like all these little pieces of cloth or something stuck to it and they're sticking to my fingers which is not fun and getting all over my table which is not fun I guess I'm gonna have to sweep in here later aren't I okay let me just well this canvas is going to annoy me so I'm going to clean off all of the schmutz and do all of that before we look at the canvas so let me do that really quickly um, let's see what have we got here instructions which I won't use so I will put them off to the side ooh pre-cut labels awesome for my containers it's got 60 colors uh, it looks like I do have two ABs in here so and then you have this page sticker that you can use in your logbook if you want. Uh, I don't ever use this one. I might cut this out and put it on in my logbook just to have a bigger sticker, but then again, I might not. So I do like that they give you these bigger ones so you can kind of see, you know, all the things, all the little details. So you can see the little key here, the chest with all the cards coming out. She's floating in a little teacup, the Cheshire Cat up here, the doorknob with a snake for a mouth. There's the little drink me bottle and octopus with the Mad Hatter's hat. And then this kind of weird cloud up here. I'm looking at this picture and wondering if there's things that I could substitute. Like I'm wondering if I could substitute like some rhinestones or crystals maybe for the Cheshire Cat's eyes. Maybe add some, I don't know, down here somewhere. I don't want to bling it up too much because this isn't really a style of, of a blingy style of painting, but we'll see. So 60 colors and here are whew, all of my drills. That's a lot of drills. Okay. I'm going to clean off the canvas and clean up a little bit, so don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I have cleaned off the canvas, and voila, there we go. So you can see it's a typical Diamond Art Club canvas. We've got the Do What Makes You Sparkle up at the very top. We have a schematic on the, the left and the right, and then we've got all the information down here. Uh, like I said, this is a 56 by 74. For those of us who are in the U.S. and still use the old-fashioned imperial system, it is 22 by 29 inches. And yeah, it's a pretty big canvas, which I got to admit, it's a little bigger than I had anticipated. So it's going to be interesting to see if I can get all of this done in the time that I'm allotting myself, but that's okay. Um, Again, I'm doing this for the Alice in a Winter Wonderland event, and I will put a link down below to Life with Win Lindsay, who is the um, diamond painter who is sponsoring this event. I'm not actually going to enter and put all of that information in, though you can if you want to. Um, this is just an excuse event for me to do this canvas that I've had laying around in my stash, So, which is apparently how I work. So... Um, this is again around, so, and it has 60 colors with two ABs. So let me grab the drills and we'll see what we've got here. Again, sorry for all the crinkling. 
So, and I know this isn't my normal setup, but this was the only way I could get you guys to see the whole canvas, which I wanted you to do. Because I think when you see the whole canvas, you kind of get the scope of it better. So, so let me see if I can find the end of the drills here. And I love Diamond Art Club because, not only because they have good quality, but also because they put DMC codes on the bags. Now, interestingly, this is another one where for me, I get why they do this, but it's not my favorite thing. Um, they put the bags in, I guess, order of how many drills there are rather than them being in DMC order. So like the more drills they are, the further down they'll be at the end. So I'm guessing that's the reason these two are separated. There's a lot of 823 and a lot of 3814. So you've got this dark blue and this dark green. And then we have all of these fun colors. So let me just run through all of these. So we've got this nice kind of tan color, the peach. There's one of the ABs, nice sparkly white. I wonder where, is that number two or 141? That's number two. So I'll do a close up of the canvas here in a minute and we'll look and see where those go. There's a dark brown, a purple, kind of a, I can tell if that's, it's kind of a brown, a pink, is that black? That's all the 310 that's in this one, folks. That's a win canvas in my book. A peach, a gray, a green, kind of a lavender color, a very pale tan, a dark green, kind of a mustard color, a purple, another gray, another tan, a dark brown, and a blue. So those are all the ones that are kind of small numbers, although they keep going here. So here's some more that don't have very many colors. So we've got a purple, kind of a dark pink, a brown. Ooh, there's the other AB. So we'll see where that one goes. I'm gonna guess that may go on the doorknob or on the teacup. There's kind of a, another tan, peachy tan. Is that, those look like almost the same color, but they're not. So kind of two kind of off or gray green colors, a dark brown a light purple, a green, a tan, a dark blue, another kind of orangey tan, another pink. There's that mulberry color I like so much. A brick red, a yellow, a blue, a light blue, and another kind of mustardy color. Okay, and then we get into the, hmm, there's lots of these colors. So we have a dark brown, a blue, a very dark green, a gray, a light gray, another kind of sea green, another gray, kind of a very dark sea green, a very dark green, Another gray, I'm sensing a theme here. That's kind of a very dark turquoise green. Colors are getting all twisted up here. That is another light green, a gray, a very dark blue, another green, a dark brown. Is that the same color? Yes, two, two bags of that dark brown, two bags of a very dark gray, and then this last gray. So this I will definitely be kidding up in my Elizabeth Ward, uh, just because for some of these, the number of colors, I think that's what I'm going to want. 
And then as well as all of these colors will get up, kitted up probably in the very smallest containers um, because that's how I do it. So, okay, I'm going to kind of rearrange everything again so that we can do some close-ups and I can show you um, where some of the ABs are gonna go and we can look at some of the symbols and stuff. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, uh, I've got everything kind of squared around again, I hope. And sorry, I bumped the camera. Okay, so just wanted to kind of, you know, let you guys look uh, at the symbols and things. So I'm gonna peel this back. It's, the canvas is very sticky and with the poured glue, it overlaps very little. So I probably will still put some washi tape around the edges to prepare the canvas when I kit it up. Um, and then we'll see. So I'm looking at, I've got two ABs, number one and number two. So as I suspected, uh, there's a, a little bit of the number one here in the Cheshire Cat. Uh, but most of the number one is over here in the little doorknob and then around the edge of her little teacup. So, and then number two is, there's actually quite a bit of it right here in the cloud, as well as over here in kind of the cloud and wings of the Cheshire cat holding him up and whatever it is he's writing in. Uh, there's some on Alice on her little, well, there's some all over on Alice. There's some in her bow. There's some here on her dress. I think that's where most of it is. Oh, there's a little bit of two down in the bottom where the chest and the playing cards are, um, but that's it. So of course, most of the rest of the darker colors are gonna be in this bottom half of the canvas because that's all supposed to be underwater. So yeah, and looking at Diamond Art Club, uh, the symbols all seem pretty clear. One of these days, I'm gonna to have to do a search and find out, or if anyone knows, if you can tell me. I know Diamond Art Club always uses this white dot with a black background for their um, 310 symbol. But are all the other symbols always the same? Like for instance, in this one, you know, G is DMC 414. Is that true in every DMC cam or DAC canvas? I should look, I have enough of them, but I don't, I don't unbox them until I'm, you know, going to do them. So I've never really paid any attention, but I'm curious because I know my diamond painting Deutschland, my Diana that I did, um, the symbols in comparing with another diamond painter were the same for each DMC. So like, you know, like on Diamond Art Club where DMC 310 is always this black square with the round dot, you know, it was the same on theirs regardless of the canvas for diamond painting Deutschland. So I'm curious if Diamond Art Club does it the same way, or if they use different symbols, you think it'd be easier to just do it one way so that th that symbol was always the same. But you know, what do I know? I don't make diamond paintings. I just diamond paint them. So again, this is uh, the Alice in the Sea of Tears that I am going to be doing for the Alice in a Winter Wonderland canvas. And I will link both the event and the canvas down below so that you can check them out if you want to. And yeah, that's it guys. I will be kidding this up shortly. So you'll be seeing that video soon. So be looking for that as well as I will be finishing my TSA canvas soon. So be looking out for the finish of that and all my cute little fishies. If you follow me over on Instagram, I have posted some pictures of it already. So you can get a little bit of a sneak peek. I am at Diamond Painting Anonymous on Instagram, and there is a link for that down below as well. As always, guys, if you like this video before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. Give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Hit that subscribe button. That helps me out even more. And hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.